Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and I'm from the Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles over in the sunny state of California. Today we're gonna to be putting our detective skills to the test to complete an activity from the Girl Scout Junior Detective Badge. So today we're gonna to be working on step two of our junior detective badge by learning to communicate in code. So sometimes our detectives and spies need to be able to get secret messages to one another without other people knowing what they're trying to communicate. So today we're gonna to practice with making our own secret codes by using some items that we may have around the house. And you're probably gonna need about 10 to 15 minutes to complete this activity. All right, so let's talk about some of the materials that we're gonna need in order to complete our activity today. We're gonna need just a few sheets of white paper. I'm using computer paper today that's cut in half. We'll need just a little bit of water. We'll need a spoon, a white birthday candle, a white crayon, some food coloring. It can be any color, but I'm gonna go ahead and use Girl Scout green. Just a few cotton swabs two small bowls, mine are clear, but they can be clear or solid, whatever you have on hand, baking soda, and that is it. Go ahead and pause the video here if you need to gather your materials. All right, let's go ahead and get to work on our activity. We're gonna go ahead and take one of our white sheets of paper. As you can see, there's nothing on it. And we're gonna take our white crayon to begin with, and we're gonna write a secret message. As you can see, we can't quite see our secret message up against that white paper. Go ahead and set that off to the side and take as much time as you need in order to write your secret message. I'm gonna take my second sheet of white paper again. There's nothing on it. And we're gonna take our white birthday candle this time and we're gonna write another secret message on that paper. Now it might be a little bit harder to hold that birthday candle, but just do your best. All right, you can see again, can't quite see our message and set that off to the side. And now we're gonna take our third white piece of paper and we're gonna write another secret message on this one as well. But first, we are going to create our mixture so that we can do that. So let's take one of our small bowls and you're gonna take just a little bit of the water and add it to that small bowl. You just need a little bit. And now we're gonna take our spoon and our baking soda and we're gonna need about a tablespoon of this baking soda and add it into our small bowl with the water. Go ahead and mix it up. Just want to make sure that all of that baking soda dissolves into the water. All right, mine looks like this. And now we're going to take one of our cotton swabs. We're gonna use this mixture in order to write our secret message onto the white paper. So go ahead and take the cotton swab, dip it in. You can actually use that to stir it up a little bit if it's settled. And just make sure you get a good amount of that mixture on there and use it to write your secret message. I'm gonna dip it in a couple more times too, just to make sure I get it really on there. Okay, great. So this one, because we painted it with the water and the baking soda, it might come out that you can see it initially, but go ahead and just let it dry. We're gonna make sure that it dries completely so you can either leave it out on your table or leave it outside to dry, and then we'll come back and decode our secret messages. All right, welcome back. So now we should have waited just long enough for our last paper to dry. So this is mine. As you can see, it's 
very dry and you can hardly read what it says. So now we're gonna go ahead and go through the process of decoding our secret messages. So let's go ahead and set some of these things off to the side. And what we're gonna need for that is our second small bowl. And we're gonna need that water. So go ahead and add just a little bit of that water back into um, another small bowl. All right. And you don't want too much either. It's so just a little bit of water. And then we're gonna take our food coloring. Again, it can be any color that you have. I have quite a few here, but I'm gonna use Girl Scout Green. And then I'm going to add just a few drops of that food coloring into the small bowl with water. And get it nice and green. Okay, we'll mix it up with our spoon. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take another one of those cotton swabs. And I'm gonna take that first sheet of paper that we wrote on. And we're gonna go ahead and take our cotton swab and dip it into our green uh, water with food coloring. And then we're gonna paint it across our secret message to reveal what it says. great so mine came out pretty good you can check out our secret message detective we're gonna go ahead and set that one off to the side now I'm gonna take my second sheet of paper that we did with the birthday candle and we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna take that food coloring water and we're gonna paint it across our secret message to find out what it says so you can either do this next one for yourself or maybe you can go and show it to someone else in your house. This one's a little bit lighter for me, but you can see it. This one says junior, and it'll be easier to see too once it's all dry. And then I'm gonna take my third sheet of paper and we're gonna do the same one, same thing. So take another cotton swab, we'll dip it into the food coloring mixture and we'll paint it across the message and see what comes out. Oh, this one's coming out really good. Oh, this is a good one. There we go. Now this one we can definitely see. It says Girl Scouts rock. All right, so let's talk about our activity. Why weren't we able to see our invisible codes in the first place? So items like crayons and our birthday candles are actually made up primarily of wax. And when we wrote our secret messages on the white paper, we were actually leaving behind small deposits of that wax. The same goes for our baking soda mixture. So when we were writing our message using our baking soda, we were leaving behind small deposits of that baking soda onto the white paper. But since all of those items were already white, we couldn't see it up against our white paper. So then when we changed the background color of our white paper using green food coloring, we were able to see what was left behind and deposited onto the paper in white. Great job, Girl Scouts. 
So once you've completed this activity, it's a good idea to ask yourself some important questions about what you just completed. What did you learn while completing this activity? And what went well or what didn't go well? How can you make some other secret codes that you can decode with other people in your home or even with your friends? Go ahead and use the comment section below to answer. If you and your Girl Scout enjoyed this activity, you might want to check out some of the other junior badge activities that we have here at Girl Scouts at Home. Your troop leader can help you find the rest of the steps for the Girl Scout Junior Detective Badge and the Volunteer Toolkit, or you can find them at girlscoutshop.com. If you've earned your badge, be sure to order it. And if you're not yet a Girl Scout, you can find out more information at girlscouts.org. Thanks. See you next time.